Hello, Model Railroaders. John back with a 16 by 8 River layout. I'm just going to cover a little bit about what I was working on the last uh, couple days. I decided to start working on this end of my uh, layout. You probably remember I was talking about I was talking about it when I was working back over there, and this side wasn't done yet. I had to do the ground cover. But I did quite an extensive amount of ground cover. I know it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't look like it, but there's like five layers of different kinds of coatings on here. And I think if I get close, you can really see them. So what I've got going is I've got two shades of green, a little burnt green and some um, on my T1350, it's a light green. And then I've got some grout underneath showing through. You can kind of see the coloring of the gray coming through the uh, dirt or through the grass. And then I put my yellow turf on there in some spots. You can kind of see it highlighted on the top of the hill. And then what I did is I've had this other stuff. It's that you can use them as flowers or leaves or whatever. It's ultra, ultra bright green leaves. It's just, it's some ground foam that's bright green. And it highlights and it makes it look like it's flowers. So or wildflowers. And so I did that. I put a lot of the quite a bit of that on maybe a little more than I should have but I did it in some other spots in my layout too that I don't know if anyone ever even noticed it but this time I, where I really did it was quite extensive on this one this area where I did it and now everything you see is glued down except the trees are just sitting holes but all the ground cover all the weeds the tufts everything is glued solid so it's not going to come off without uh, destroying it and then I started adding uh, deciduous trees to the uh, river banks because there's going to be there would be naturally that, them, those kind of trees anyways throughout this thing so and I'm going to put some throughout the layout in different places not sure exactly uh, where yet but for sure along the rivers uh, and things like that so I put some over there on that side too if you look through the bridge you can see them so yeah if you look here you can see a little bit of that bright green stuff but i didn't put as much on this side as i did on the, the other back hill I, there's some up on that um, hill over there there's a little bit over there you can kind of just see the slight bit of light bright green yeah right there you can really see some but anyways i've always used i've used that stuff for a lot of years and it just gives it a nice highlighted look. I'll raise this up so you can really see it better. And of course now with my um, better LED lights, I don't have to edit nothing. So this is the this is the color and this is what I see, what you guys are seeing in the videos, how it looks to me too. So now at the end of this video, check it out. There's a lot of, um, pictures there's going to be probably a couple dozen and it just shows my every step of the way of how I put this ground cover down basically it's just I put it right over the um, base painted uh, landscape I started out with uh, glue grout and then after that was done I didn't I never let it dry I put it right over it right away then I hit it with the um, green and my green uh, turf is the T1350 Woodland Scenics and burnt, I can't remember the number of that, burnt grass. I mix about like 10% of burnt and then the rest is T350 and then it's a little yellow with that. And that's what I do for the green. And then after that's done, I um, spray it again, put some of this uh, uh, these uh, wildflowers down, spray it again. And then I touch it up to kill a mute the uh, wildflowers a little bit because I, if you don't, it's really bright and I don't want it that bright. So if I, I mean I can zoom in and you can really see it. Yeah, you can really see it there. But it really adds, it makes a nice effect. So, and that's what's on top of these little tufts. That's the stuff that's on those. Yeah, like in there, you can kind of see it right there. So, 
anyways uh, that's what I've been working on and you can see where I really stopped right there that's where I ended and the reason I'm not doing the forward part here this part is because I have to lean over the layout uh, for a while yet because I still got to do some stuff with that upper hill I did green up that upper hill over there as well back this hill and I did shape it a little different I didn't like just the two humps so I gave it a little bit more of a point on one end and a little flat space in the center so I may even do a little more work on it yet but uh, I have to put another couple layers on there I've just got the green and some of the uh, rocks sh showing through on the bottom let's see if I can zoom in so you can really see it yeah, you can kind of see it there and you can kind of see the multicoloring. So, and then of course at the bottom, this bottom area over here, this is where the gray kind of shows through a little bit. So I've been, that's what I've been, I'm not gonna put trees on that. I'm gonna put some on the ends right over here. That's probably about it. And I'm gonna probably, I might put some little tiny, tiny trees poking behind it, just slightly poking up, maybe about uh, three or four different sizes, just sticking up. I'm talking half inch or less. So they'll be really tiny to give it some, keep the distance going. And this big, huge hill is gonna get kind of a similar treatment, but I'm gonna uh, put some more of the, um, I'm gonna use some um, Woodland Scenics, um, ground clump foliage to just simulate the trees and instead of putting actual trees on it they'll just put little clumps that look like trees in the distance so that's as far as i go with that now i can't even go any further than this i would have done more but i am 100 percent out of material right now i've got none left and i had to order a couple bottles of the material i use that's why i ended right there because i would have i would have kept going around this thing at least to this point over here right in this area i would like to have gotten that done so and of course i got to do this hill behind the cnw train so that's going to be coming up soon too so that's all i got that's the big update nothing special just the regular stuff One more glimpse of it all. It's really coming together. The river is really looking good. Um, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna look real sharp when it's done. So, send me comments. Uh, watch the pictures at the end, and again, watch the shorts. If you watched my shorts, you would have seen this probably a week ago. Thanks for watching.